Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta 3. Uh, sorry about the wait. Just wanted to wrap up Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order first because the control schemes were pretty dang similar but different enough and I just wanted to avoid confusing controls between the two and uh, yeah. Though also not to mention since then I also went through a bit of a rough patch, but now we're back at it, so, uh, yeah. I've also kind of semi-forgotten, uh, the new controls for this game, so that's amazing. But anyway, last time we started the game proper, um, Bayonetta, brand new adventure. These creatures that don't seem to be from Paradiso or, uh, I forgot what hell is called in this series, but... Yeah, they're creatures not from either, and they're like kind of attacking, so we need to do something about that as we scramble for answers. Okay, let me see if I... Yeah, you hold down that to bring out the demon. Okay. And then... Yep. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. It's all coming back to me a little bit. Okay, the fashion is on point in this game. Playmates. Not my type. Although I did try shaking hands. Those things ain't from Paradiso or Inferno. They're locals. In other words, they're part human. Human? No, I ain't nothing human about them. Man made bioweapons. Oh, alright, fair enough. How about you tell us who you are first, Miss? Viola. Bayonetta, I'm... Uh, never mind. Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history. And reality as we know it gets wiped out for good! And so you just led them right to us. Mm. No! They're like locusts, spreading through the multiverse, destroying it as they go! Just trust me, damn it! We've got to hurry! Bayonetta, Jean, you both have to help! Why do you know our names? And who the hell taught you that bit of magic? Well... In the world I'm from, we've already met. A world like this one, in another part of the multiverse. But it's gone now. Along with you, and you. And everything else. The homunculi are tearing through the multiverse. And there's only a few worlds left. Multiverse? On the off chance you're not insane, what do they want? Hold up. 
this could be serious. If what you're saying is true, then this ain't just a human problem. Within the trinity of realities, the world of chaos is actually made up of uh, countless universes, all stacked up together. That's the multiverse. If someone's wiping those universes out, one by one, no, wiping out doesn't quite explain it. They're breaking the multiverse down, trying to fuse it together. Like running thinly sliced wagyu beef through a grinder to make a big old juicy burger. And if they can pull it off, they'll get their hands on enough power to wipe out the whole trinity in a snap. Thank you, Professor. And what do you expect us to do? Right. There are two things we have to do. Jean, I want you to find a scientist named Sigurd. He's somewhere in this world, and he can help us. And Bayonetta. I want you to come with me, to help find more of these. This is a Chaos Gear, the key to beating Singularity. And the only one who knows how to use them is Dr. Sigurd. Without both of them, we can kiss this world goodbye. Since solitaire in a literal man cave isn't exactly riveting, I suppose I'll be your chaperone. That will help restore some sanity, right? We'll have a bit of girl talk along the way. Okay. So anyway, Viola, you gonna introduce me to this thing or what? <laughs> Introducing Chasher, the Lost Outcast. the secret of the multiverse before anyone else declaring his own world the alphaverse he began destroying the other layers of the multiverse one by one there's only one way to stop him take the fight to him in the alphaverse we don't have a way to move freely through the multiverse but there's one place that connects the whole thing a legendary island created by the Umbra and the Lumen to study and reach out to the unknown. The secluded island of Thul. Are you sure your fantasy island is real? <laughs> Seems very interested in our arrival. Is it him? Let's land fast. It's not safe. Hmm. 
What's that? Oh, also introducing Cavum, Cavum. All righty. <laughs> Graceful. Oh, wow, that transition was great. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, my God, I need to get my sea legs back under me. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of in, uh... Um... Oh my god. Star Wars... mode. Okay. There we go. Cause I keep pressing X to do like a like quick weak attack and it's like no, that's Star Wars only. This is glowing. Alright. So anyway. I'm not used to Bayonetta being this open. <laughs> oh my god, I am going to be pressing X so much, and I apologize in advance. It'll come back to me. Everything will come back to me soon enough. It's muscle memory. It's like riding a bike. Like, you, you know, your, your first time back after you're not having ridden a bike for a while, it's going to be a little rough. I say as if I know how to ride a bike. I don't know how to ride a bike. I gave up as a kid. Because I was... I, I fell once and I was like, well, that's it. <laughs> no more of that. My dad tried to pay my friend at the time to teach me how to ride a bike. Didn't really work out. You're seeing that off in the distance too, right? Yeah. Pretty sure those are other worlds in the multiverse. I bet the people who built this place used to watch over different worlds the same way. Ooh. Uh, finding direction, press L to receive guidance toward your next destination. Okay. It's about time I got moving. Ooh, we got weight points and shit. Were, were those... It's, it's been so long since I last played Bayonetta. I have completely forgotten everything. What is this? Checkpoint? I'm not sure. What's this? It opens with Umbran magic. It seems we really do share a past with this island. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, the I'm so not used to like pretty much open exploration bayonet. I mean there were areas you could like explore in the first two games, but this open is it's messing with me. Like, I don't hate it. I like it, but it's, it's, about time I got moving. it's just messing with me. <laughs> it's 
something I'm going to have to get used to. Oh, is this... Oh, it's one of those little trials thing. Ooh, I like the new UI. All right, let's enter. Oh, I have to hold. Like I said, I'm not going to try to go out of my way to find all of these. And even if I do find them, no guarantee I'll like stick with them until they're completed. But, eh, I found this one. Might as well. Bite and toss them. Okay. Well, oh, wrong button. Let's bite and toss. So I'm allowed, what, three hits? go. disappointed I got hit there. I probably could have did it without getting hit, but it is what it is. So that's neat. I don't even have to, like, finish off all the enemies. I just need to get the clear condition. I was about to say, like, oh, that might make some of these easier, but nah, I have a feeling some of those are going to get a little on the ridiculous side. Because if they're able to focus on, like, execution of like just a very specific task or goal then they can make them a little more difficult outside of just beat all the waves of enemies without getting hit a lot of times do I want to destroy these? I mean, I'm doing it, and it's giving me stuff, so, yeah. Guess just keep following these. Wow. Accuracy, what is it? Anything up here? I am going to keep pressing X, and I apologize. Incredible. It feels like being bathed in moonlight. Oh, a little healing magic thing. Energy. I'm starting to Is it? Like it here. Oh no, this refills the magic. Me. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do it. 
Yeah, I just picked that up from the little trial thing. That should be a platinum. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that should be a platinum. <clears throat> I was a little too slow there. I figured. I was a little far away from the uh, dude, the big dude. I really don't know if I should be destroying those or not, but it doesn't seem to be hurting anything. It's about time I got moving again. Ooh, what's this? Also, the game looks really good. I mean, Bayonetta always looks good. Wait, what are you trying to tell me? Infernal demons can't be summoned in spaces that are too cramped or narrow. All right. I don't need it. I don't need a demon then. I can do this my dang self. I can do bad by myself. Bayonetta, the baddest bitch. We're slaying them, literally. A dead end? What's this weird ass wall? Just needs the right touch. Any true Umber witch knows that. There we go. This trip has been full of surprises, hasn't it? Is this a multiverse portal generator? Bayonetta, wait, it might be a bad idea to mess with that. Uh, Bayonetta gonna do what Bayonetta gonna do. I, I really do just want to, like, run around and look at everything. Like, ever since the series adopted color, it's, it's just looked great. Like, don't get me wrong. The first game did look good, too, but that did come at the time when, you know, like, PS3 and 360 games, everything must be dark and brown and washed out. Then Bayonetta 2 was like really vibrant and full of color and now we're getting that here too. Well, well, well. Thought you could hide from me. All right, a sucker. Probably should figure out how to use items like I don't want to accidentally use my quick select so let me make sure I don't have anything current equipment press Y on the items tab the subscreen to open the concocting screen recipes yep yep oh I don't actually have these I have to concoct them Oh, crap. I did have them. I accidentally just used them. So those were the fragments there. All right. Fair enough. I was at half health anyway. I guess I could have just used it. So I don't have the, you feel the burn, item you? quick select anymore. Come on. Okay. She's just dancing when I press the D-pad there. Fair enough, I guess. Or it's probably... Something I'm missing. Either way, I'm not going to sweat it. Let's actually make some progress now. Enough running around aimlessly. I do want to get this, though. All right. Too late 
shade for regrets now, I'm afraid. Bayonetta! Separate vacations for now, then. Good luck. Ginnen Gap? The Chaotic Rift. Are we getting into Welsh bullshit? I, I can't read that. That that was very mean of me, Welsh bullshit. That's that that was dying mean. For some action too. Oh, you can equip up to three infernal demons in slots and switch between them instantly during battle. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's what the D-pad's gonna be for then. Alright. Up left and right to switch infernal demons. If you switch while summoning, the new one will appear in the same place. Equip infernal demons on the demons tab of the subscreen. Choose a slot first in the infernal demon. Oh. oh okay I see oh now I want I, I want more demons I want more demons um Oh, slay them. Slay them. Literally slay them. Oh god. I, I need to refill my magic though. Oops. <laughs> now for the count, even infernal demons can be taken out by relentless sex. If this happens, they can't be summoned again until they recover. Some enemies can take out infernal demons instantly with one powerful attack. Ooh. Is that what happened to me? Yeah. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, if I miss a verse, then I miss a verse. No biggie. Uh, am I going the right way? Time I, got again. I want to go there. Okay. <sighs> so do they revive? Yeah, okay. They revive after a certain amount of time. Boy, switching between demons and stuff. This is going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> got the hiccups all of a sudden. Onward we go. Through this chaotic rift. Oh, and I didn't comment on it during the cutscene, but yeah, strange guy wearing a hat on the island. That's gonna be Luca's bitch ass, isn't it? Ooh. Astral chain? Which I need to get back to? I'm really sorry about like also just taking so long to get back to astral chain as well. Like Astral Chain is also a lot of fun. I mean, obviously it was made by Platinum, but yeah, I just wasn't feeling the uh, recording sessions for it.
Oh my god, what is happening? Like, it came at, like, I was playing Astro Chain at a time where... Ooh. Introducing... Iridescent. Yeah, I was playing at a time where I wasn't really feeling long recording sessions. And because I had kind of committed to... Uh, one chapter per video for that game, the recording sessions were long. Oh, this looks sweet. Oh, shit. This is amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind a long recording session, but I like them to be like... With like a better term, productive. So, I mean, if I'm gonna, oops, like record for two hours, I would like to get, like, at least multiple parts out of that as opposed to, like, one video. Get wrecked. Oops. Okay. I don't know what you want from me here. This is very trippy. Oh my god. This is a lot to take in. This is also very cool. Should I have been attacking those things to get them out the way? I am bad. And you gave me a gold. Uh, okay. <gasps> Gamora. little thing. Perhaps it's time for a crash diet. Tokyo Shibuya. Gamora's down. Also, I know it's probably incredibly dumb for me to say this is giving me uh, uh, 428 Shibuya Scramble vibes or Astro Chain vibes when those games take place in Tokyo and this is Tokyo. But 
still. <laughs> I am getting those vibes. Oh, is this one of those challenges? Blow kisses to them. Speaking of 428 Shibuya Scramble, I need to finish that up too. At least I'm in the post game for that. That was such a fun visual novel. God, I wish I could experience it with no knowledge of it again. It was a fun ride. Alrighty. Oh, crap. If you would. Yeah, I was about to say, when is that kiss gonna come out? Jesus. Oh, she's... She's electrified. Yeah, the flutter kiss comes out slow. Oh, I thought I still had her out. Oh, that was just me recovering the magic. I'll get used to everything soon enough. If I'm going to waste time, I'd rather do it in a nice hot bath. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take time out to do your makeup. <sighs> Killing homunculi. It can take a lot out of you. They are so dead. HQ, set the key stuff. ゴーマル。最初は北東に向かって移動中。遅れ。ありがとう。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめん。大丈夫。ごめ
like the different voice she's gonna be younger so all you people being horny for her are weird and then it turned out like no the new hair is just a design choice and she sounds different because Helena Taylor was a piece of shit and they needed a new VA. Ah, crap. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Okay, I don't care for Madama Butterfly all that much. Maybe I just need to, like, get used to using her. Learn how to use her. Ah, ooh, that was late. Okay, these archerists need to die. I... Why am I so bad? There I go, pressing X again. <gasps> oh, Lappy! Okay. The bite attack is so good. Yeah, that that wasn't amazing. Not my best showing. Where's Lappy? Where's my dog? There's my dog. There's also this. <laughs> yeah, I needed that. Lappy! Oh, those, those, those are all the halos you're going to give me, Lappy. Shout out to Astral Chain. Oh, I'm back in the little main hub. Oh. It's about time I got moving again. Well, then what's down here? This looks... Like something I didn't want to encounter. Introducing Congestus. Light memory unit. Oh no. That was weird. Uh, reawaken the defeated homunculus to control the flow of time in the area. Advance reverse time to change the surroundings. Find the right point in time to discover new paths. Keep in mind that the temporal field has a time limit. Bayonetta will be trapped in a younger form. Let's see what time has to teach. Huh.
Okay. Did I not go back far enough? Okay, wait a minute. Oh no, do I want to create like a little... Yeah. This is neat. Well, I got a journal entry thing. Yeah, I know all about them. Characters, yeah. He's a boxer? Bowl off. As your fingers make contact, your head fills with memories of someone else, pain, playing back as a series of images. A lone witch stands in an alley, arms crossed as she periodically looks out at the street. She takes a glance at her watch and smirks. This is the day we set things straight. I'll teach that annoying witch who really controls the streets of Shibuya. First thing that 100 song karaoke battle... No, first that 100 song karaoke battle, then the sushi eating contest. Oh, and how could I forget the scramble crosswalk foot race? Somehow they all ended in a draw, but today I'm going to pull out front and win. After all, today's contest is bowling. She must not know they call me the split queen of Sasazuka. She is only herself to blame for choosing a bowl off on a gorgeous day like this. Hmm, she's unfashionably late. That's not like her at all. If anything, she's usually annoyingly punctual for these little spats. Just then a roaring din fills the air as an avalanche of rubble falls. The next instant, the rubble begins to move in slow motion. It's a sensation all too familiar to an umber witch begins to take over. The images fade from your mind. Huh. Oh, okay. You can... And the item catalog... Probably should go through these for my own sake, but eh. <laughs> and yep, all these tutorial things. Alrighty. Guess I can't go here. But I did see this. Figure box. <laughs> oh, so these are like character models that I can find. I don't have any accessories. And nothing to equip, so I don't know why the little new icon was on there, but I guess I never did look at the gun, so it is what it is. Alright, let's advance. Yeah, the soldiers may be dead, but we aren't. Guess we're going in here. Wrong button. Uh... How's my items looking? <laughs> oh no. Um, well, I'm gonna have to be careful. Unless the mannequins are holding health. Ah, oh, crap. 
Get wrecked. Oh, come on. I need to watch out for these arrows, man. Oh my god. I also need to do better about switching who I'm targeting. Thought I could get you before the attack would go off. Boy, when I get my bread and butter combos down, it's over for y'all bitches. Wow, that was way too early. The combos were on point, though. We're improving. Oh, I missed a verse. Oh, well. Um, having an outdoor recital. What? <laughs> Umber and tears of blood. These ominously beautiful jewels are said to be crystallized blood of persecuted Umber witches. Familiars. These jewels are guarded and kept from human hands by Umber familiars, black cats, crows, and toads. One of each familiar can be found in every chapter. It's said finding them all will open a new path. Oh. Okay. Getting me confused for them. It is really weird to see him not in the bar. Oh. With all this mess going on, Halos are hard to come by. But chaotic economics has its own unique jobs. And you'd like me to help you diversify. <laughs> Sharp as ever, Bayonetta. <laughs> well, in game shop usually means that we're nearing a boss. Well, not always, not always. Sometimes it does appear like at random points in a chapter. Alrighty, well then what you got? I mean, <laughs> probably should like stock up on uh, <laughs> these green boys. The magic ones are pretty good to have too. 
Hmm. Yeah, always having at least one of those is good. Oh, I can't specify like a number that I want to purchase. I'll just have two. And two of those too. What you got on accessories? Gaze of despair and rages enemies even without taunting them. Eternal testimony increases magic power recovery speed after full depletion. Ooh, I might want to save up for that. Conqueror's Reigns prevents infernal demons from being enraged by enemy attacks. Immortal Marionette performs combos and defensive actions automatically, slipping by pressing punch and kick repeatedly when using when used at standard or higher difficulty. Battle results are penalized. Oh, so that's like easy mode for if you can't really pull off combos, but you get penalized for using it. All right, fair enough. Sleeping dog statue, miniature version of a sleeping dog. Viola's room. So there's like customization, or not customization, but like decoration and stuff. Hmm. Also, the different currencies depending on what you're trying to buy. Okay, I was expecting weapons, but I guess those will be showing up later. Almost forgot to give you this. I mean, it's not like I have the Ooh. money for them yet. Oh yes! Uh, change weapons on the subscreen. G Pillar, a giant club containing an anti-material rifle. It's cumbersome but powerful at both close and long range. Will be in mid-air to charge and release energy for an additional forward aerial boost. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are equipping that. So I guess I can't switch between uh, weapons like at the drop of a dime. That would be nice, but oh well. Oh no, no, you do have B weapon there. So it's not like, oh, these are attached to her feet, so. Okay. Oh, that's taunt. You feel the burn. I'm just pressing buttons to see. There has to be an easy way to switch between. Okay, it's L. Alrighty. I knew there had to be a way. Oops. Who did I save? I see nobody. Oh, them. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't mind me, I'm just a witch carrying a giant hammer. That's what we do.
Yeah, I wish they would, like, automatically take you to the, uh... Oh, Iker Toad. Okay. Like, exactly, or straight to the thing you find, so you can, like, read it. <laughs> Without having to search for it. Was that a thing? What was it that I just found then? Oh, a card pack. Huh. So that's just more concept art and stuff? Eh, we'll figure it out soon enough. Oh. Introducing my new weapon. I like this. It is very slow though. amount of damage it does though and yeah I was pressing X again so that just fires the gun shoot for that I love that's something I just adopted from donkey just the gun shoot going down the stairs. Is that another little figure pack thing? Alright, whatever. Oh, it didn't open with one. X and A, torture attack. Stun enemies when infernal demon attacks or break their armor for a torture attack chance. Press X and A when the prompt appears to summon a tailor-made torture device and deal additional damage. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay. Wait, there is something new in the archives? Oh my god, it is so hard to see. Oh, alright, never mind. I am just struggling. Is this too strong for me to be doing the torture attacks with?
Yeah. Maybe it's too strong. That was also pretty dang sloppy. I would I wouldn't have argued if y'all gave me a stone for that one. It's about time I got moved. Up there, okay. I wanna get off a torture attack. I want to torture. Uh, scur scurriers. Couriers for Arachne's Net, a shadowy members only delivery service that deals in all kinds of goods, legal and otherwise. If you see them out with deliveries, attack them to sign for their items. Alrighty. Unlocking upper power on the skills tab of the subscreen, you can increase maximum vitality and magic and unlock special skills. Oh my god, we have upgrade trees? Increase your maximum vitality by using witch hearts and your maximum magic by using moon pearls. Mm, get special items so you traverse the area from chests and other sources. Orbs earned from battle are used to unlock skills. Each skill represents a set amount of orbs to unlock. Earn orbs by doing things like performing big combos and breaking enemy armor with infernal demon attacks. Oh, wow. Okay. I can dig it. Okay, that tank is looking a little low poly, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Introducing Panis, light flotation combat unit. Oh, wow. Way too late. Ooh, that was bad. Oh my god. There we go. Ah. Feed a panis without causing it to split. All right. I did that purely by uh, accident. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Dobrze. was a bit of an abrupt ending, but okay. Not bad, not bad. I'd miss two verses, but it is what it is. Upload. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't need to see my uh score like that. Like on on some global rankings, that's that's not good. <laughs> Money talks, opportunity knocks. Better open up the HQ. In my line of business, times like this turn cash flow into a flood. Press on the chapter screen to shop at the gates of hell. Receive the tricolored keys. These keys should be able to break the seal on the old picture book for sale in the gates of hell. In addition to choosing your next location, you can press bleh to bring up a menu and train, change options, and more. Once you complete a chapter, you can then choose a checkpoint and play it again from that. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. I wish more games did that. <laughs> Where, like, if you replay a chapter, instead of just doing all of it, you can just pick a point of it to restart. It's good for when you're trying to track down certain things, like those missing verses. The Royal Bayonetta 3, the gallery where you can view art and listen to music, is now open. Pick up special items as you play to add content. Okay. You can go to the gallery and pressing blah on the chapter select screen and choosing it from the menu. All right, we got a lot of stuff opening up. And next time we're going to go to the city on fire. Where are the other things that do there? Pick up a hamburger. I could have picked up a hamburger. Show the obstacles while sliding on Gamora. S stand atop an iconic Shibuya landmark. Defeat five Stratuses inside the train car. Aww. I could have picked up a hamburger. Man. Just want to see what the gallery's looking like. I probably won't be checking this every single chapter. Oh yeah, especially since there's a lot of 3D models and a lot of concept art. <laughs> oh wow. I really like his new design. Like. And then we got concept art. I didn't have to exit out of each one. I could have just like, or maybe I did. Oh no, no, L and R, okay. Good Lord, if that's like one of 50, then there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Okay, what else is on the menu? Save, training mode, play history. All right. I am gonna miss that little um, angel shooting mini game. Was that even in Bayonetta 2 actually? I don't even recall. <laughs> oh, I can save from here too, all right. Ooh. So I can buy these as well. Did I already see those before and I kind of just glossed over them? Alrighty. Well, yeah, that is going to be it for today. It feels fun to be back. Feels fun to be back. And sooner or later, I'm going to get over tapping X or 
well, I mean, yeah, it, X is the weak attack in this game. I, I was just used to saying it as how it appears on the Xbox controller, where X is on the left and Y is on top. So, yeah. Earlier when I was saying like, oh, I was tapping X, I meant to say I was tapping Y in this case. I, I was tapping the gun button, which is the equivalent of the weak attack button in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But I digress. Next time, Chapter 2, City on Fire. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Huh. Oh, is this what they meant about the decorations? Is this Viola's room? That looks like her glove. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, yeah, see you all next time for some more Let's Play Bayonetta 3. Goodbye.